Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing well out there. This is your general love reading for March. So after tarot, I will be pulling some Oracle cards so we can get some more messages from spirit. With this being a general reading, not everything will resonate. So please only take what does and leave the rest. Don't worry about it. And uh, again, only take what you need and you're willing to accept from a reading. All right, spirit, what do we have for my fellow Virgos? What do we have for my fellow Virgos out there? What does Virgo need to know in regards to their love life? This is for Virgos for March. Virgo. One more. What do we have for Virgo? Okay. All right, we have the Four of Swords, we have the Star, we have the Page of Swords, Seven of Wands, and the Seven of Swords. We have the Five of Swords, <clears throat> Page of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Page, King of Pentacles, excuse me, and the Hermit. Bottom of the deck, Virgo. Nine of Swords. All right. So, a lot going on here, Virgo. <laughs> okay. Your energy right now, Virgo, is you're taking a break. You're taking a break from someone who was very selfish, stubborn, narcissistic, only thought about themselves what they wanted for themselves this is someone that felt like they were always in competition with you whatever it is that you said they had to compete with did they have they wanted to compete with your opinion everything not a good energy so it's like you're stepping back from this you're not allowing any more of this to come close to you to affect your energy a lot of you are really just focusing on you at this time uh, things that bring you peace things that make you feel good Things that, you know, get, keep you in a positive energy, Virgo. Yeah. Moving away from people who are inconsiderate. Inconsiderate of your feelings. Inconsiderate of your desires. Yeah. You're healing from a lot of, uh, a lot from your past, Virgo, here. Past offers past people you've learned a lot you have learned a lot from your past and all of this knowledge all of this knowledge has helped you heal because it's like there is no guessing there's no guessing why it happened why did it happen to me but you looked at what you need to look at like you learned what you needed to learn and in moving forward with this healing process Virgo this is when you are going to get the attention you so rightfully deserve here with the star card Things are going to start looking up. Things are looking up. Things are always going to keep getting better at this time with you in love. Because you've taken the time to heal from all that you've learned from your past. There was a lot of healing needing, needed here with you and a past person or from past people. Learning new ways to heal is important too. But yeah, there was a, uh, it's like your past relationship, Virgo. There was a lot of talks about what you and this person wanted to do in the future, as far as work, as far as school. 
There was always some type of thirst and passion, uh, wanting to have stability and get things good, get things where they needed to be, right? We need money, we need schooling, we need to do this, we need to do that. Mm. I feel like you were trying to really balance that and make it work with this person. But the good thing to look forward to, Virgo, the learning doesn't stop there in the past. It continues. Not only does it continue here for you in your love life, but overall, now there's going to be success here and achievement. Something to celebrate for. It's not just you thinking, okay, we need to be smart. We need to do this. We need to get secure. It's now I'm ready. I'm ready to conquer whatever it is I need to do with my person for myself. Find my stability that I deserve for myself and my person. This is your focus, but this is the good that you have coming to you. This is the positive to look out for. Being able to deal with so much, anything that comes your way, anything that comes uh, your way with your person to the both of you. You guys are going to be standing strong, smart, and ready. Ready to build, ready to have that home, to build what is yours, to build that connection. This is the positive to look forward to. And all that past knowledge, all that trying to work on what's needed, trying to balance and keep things going and focusing on your healing, knowing healing is needed. This is what's leading you to this. It all was leading you to this moment. Which is beautiful. So let's see. Challenges to look out for. Well, Be on guard, Virgo, with someone who either, there might be a person that comes in or a person that you meet that might be all about nice things. I have this kind of just really brase about all they have. It's all about their materials. It's all about what they do, what they have. Be mindful of this kind of person. You might need to uh, protect yourself a bit here. If you meet someone who seems like they're just so stuck into themselves and more interested about, um, you know, their materials, their wealth, and not who you are, Virgo, or not really expressing more of who they are inside, it's all about what they have, what they can give you. Not that giving to someone is bad, but we need more than that. A person needs more than that. What's inside? What's there that really matters? So look out for people who just like to have so many things, but don't want to put in the work. Yeah. This is something to be on guard. This is something to protect yourself from. Anyone that comes to you like that. You might want to look out for that. Now. The good thing. The near future here in your love life. Someone's trying to get away to have alone time with you. I don't feel like this is this isn't sneaky. Uh, deceitful energy. This is well. In a, in a way it is, but it's like, there is someone, Virgo, what is going on with you here? There you are. What is going on? There's a person here who wants to be really careful and really sneaky and strategic to get to you. They want alone time with you. This could be your person. This could be someone you're interested in. But you're worried about it. You're concerned. There's a lot of stress in this connection. There's a lot of worry in this connection with your person.
There's someone here who might feel like they don't have enough resources to give. But yet this person wants to get away. This person wants to get away and see you and have alone time with you. It's possible that someone here is trying to work on their money. Definitely trying to work on their money to be with you, to get to you, to have that alone time here. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, but there's also some narcissistic energy as well around you. Now, it might not even be someone you know, Virgo, but it might be someone you suspect. This could be like someone your person knows, a friend of your person, a family member of your person. So it's like you're just standing back, staying out of it, don't want to deal with it. But your person wants to get away. And that could be the energy that they want to get away from. Because there's so there's a lot of worry here. So let's get a little more. Let's see what we have for Virgo. Spirit, what do we have for Virgo? In regards to their love life. What are the messages they need to know for Virgo? Okay. Virgo. Messages for Virgo. One more time. Yeah, that's good. All right, so we have clock, need time, takes time, end time, cycles, time to heal, progress. Well, there's that healing, but there's also progress in motion here, okay? Things are going to happen in divine timing, but I feel like your person wants to get away. They want to, it's like they got to sneak away to be with you. They need to be careful with getting to you. It's going to take time. This relationship calls for a lot of time and patience here. But it's leading to progress. Okay. We have the runner. Runner in a codependent relationship. Fear of intimacy. Listening to ego. Well, there's that person running. There's that person trying to sneak away. <laughs> There's the runner trying to sneak away. I need to get away carefully. I need to plan. I need to have it right. I need the right moment. There's someone who leans on your person or who's very dependent possibly on your person. And this is what they want to get away from because they don't want to deal with that. They want to be with you. We've got challenges over here of setting up boundaries and barriers getting things in order, being good with money. And a, a big part of this is to be with you, Virgo. Okay. We have boat. Receiving what you need, progression, progress, progression, arriving, moving on. Your person's coming. Your person is coming to see you. Wow. Hmm. Okay, let's get a little more. Messages for Virgo in regards to love spirit. What does Virgo need to know? For Virgo. Anything else for Virgo? That's it. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So it's really important for you and your person to make sure that you guys are being honest, direct with each other, expressing your love, expressing concerns, expressing fears, expressing hopes for the future, things that you want, anything. Be open. Open your heart to really laying it out there and having these heart-to-heart -heart conversations with your person. I feel like they need to know it. 
it's important for them to know, but it's also important for you uh, to be open and to get out what you need to get out. So you have less worries and less concerns. Uh, there might need a, it's like you need to have your mind at ease here to stay in that four of swords where you can just be good, take a break, step back, let your person deal with what they need to deal with or who they need to deal with. All right, recharge and focus and stay focused on you. Not someone you feel is selfish or narcissistic or that you might be in competition with, but let things happen in the right time here. You have the clock. All right. But your person definitely wants to get away and they want to be with you. Virgo, what is the love message for Virgo? What does Virgo need to know at this time? What does Virgo need to know? There we go. Honor your feelings. There it is. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings and honor your feelings. Honor your feelings by putting it out there. Your feelings are important. They don't need to be hidden, right? They don't need to be restrained. They need to be out. They need to be shared with your person. Whatever this is, whatever is keeping you up, whatever's in your mind, share it. Honor your feelings. They should honor your feelings. And that helps. Keeping your person in the know uh, of how you feel is honoring your feelings. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Message for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know in regards to love? What is the message for Virgo? Message for Virgo. One more. There it is. Forgiveness. All right. It's time to forgive. It's time to let go. It's time to continue to focus on your healing, Virgo. Allow forgiveness to take that weight off of you so you can be light and free. And ready to celebrate the good things that you have coming. You do have a strong bond here. A foundation here. It's like your person, if they have a lot going on and they have someone who is really dependent on them, someone who's really narcissistic that they have to get away from, they, it, they don't want this person to end this. They want to build a foundation with you. But there's also some type of forgiveness that's needed here, whether it's you needing to forgive someone, Virgo, or possibly your person here. Okay. It's like letting go. Letting go of what you can't control and focusing on what you can and just forgiving what happened. Okay, let's see. What else do we have here? For Virgo. What do we have for my Virgos? Love message for Virgo. <clears throat> oh, okay. <laughs> Journey. Virgo, be adventurous. Be courageous. Go for what you want. Speak it. Let it be known. This is your journey. 
Your journey in love calls for adventure and excitement. Look at the, look at this passion. Look at that fire behind that angel. Desire, passion, be adventurous. Go for it. Fill the moment. This is all a part of your journey. These, these are all things that you're going to reflect back on. But be adventurous. Less worry. Less worry about when is it going to happen? When? Why? <laughs> why not? Let the divine timing do its thing. Let it work it through. Work it out. But you need to work it out and be adventurous and have fun. Ease your mind. Okay. Let's see. For Virgo. What's the love message for Virgo? What do they need to know? What does Virgo need to know? All right. Oh, what I tell you? You have the warrior Virgo. That is your person. Those of you who are with someone, have been with someone, have your person. This person is going to fight for you. Come hell or high water, come sneak and strategic. Whoever is dependent, because you have that dependent card, I think it was the runner. Whoever this narcissist is, this comfortable person who feels like they're in competition with you. But it's not like it's not like your person is messing around. It's just someone close to them. I hope that resonates for you guys, but it's not like a love affair. It's just this person who relies on your person. They are not going to let this person stop them from coming to you stop you and your person from having your stability they are the warrior your person is going to work through it your person is going to deal with whatever they need to deal with to be with you this person isn't going to give up this person wants a future with you but there's a lot that they're doing with that King of Pentacles. They're trying to be smart here. Your person is really trying to protect this connection. This is for some of you. This person is really trying to protect this connection and wanting to come forward, to come through. But they have to be very careful. It's like they have to have all their ducks lined up to make it work. And it's not easy. It's not easy for your person. It's not easy for you either, Virgo. But... This person is not going to cower. This person is not going to weaken to whoever this five of swords is. No, it's not going to happen. Ease your mind. Ease your mind, Virgo. Uh, okay, let's end with a whispers of love for you. Spirit, what do we have for Virgo? What is Virgo's love message? What does Virgo need to hear for their highest, greatest good? What do they need to hear, Spirit? Okay. <clears throat> what does Virgo need to hear? <laughs> listen to your heart you are listening but you need to hear with a loving heart so you might be listening to things that your person is saying or you might be really paying attention to what your person isn't but what's most important is that you listen with your heart what does your heart tell you how do you feel listen to your heart that's going to be really important in this situation with your person. Feeling what you feel, how this person makes you feel, how they're working with you. 
What are they doing? What steps are they taking coming towards you? Listen with your heart. That's your message from spirit in regards to your love life. Virgo, I hope you guys got something that you needed from this. If you did, comment down below. Let me know what's really going on. And um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell and hit that thumbs up button. You guys, I will see you next time. I think I'm starting with the you versus them. So that'll be the next video. Bye, you guys. Take care.